Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous video, we have installed OpenWRTs on the MicroTech Router Ball 750GR3. Some of you have asked me if you can go back to stock safely after installing OpenWRT. And in this video, I will show you how to go back to Router OS on this device. Actually, MicroTech had repaired a very detailed tutorial for this kind of installation and you can check out the next install page right here and first of all you will need to download net install application so let's just open it we have router os version 7 and router os version 6 right here and if you want to install router os version 7 you will need to download the next install corresponding to that router os version for this video, I'm going to go back to router as v6. So I'm going to click on this button and then search for my device 750GR3. And here it is. This is the stable release, as you can see. So I'm going to click on this button in order to download the firmware. And then scroll down to get the next install 64 bit. Okay. Click right here and save it. All right. That's good. Right now, what we need to do is to configure a static IP address for your Ethernet interface. So right click on your network icon right here. Open network settings and then change adapter options. So my device has several Ethernet adapter and this is the current active interface where I am going to connect the MicroTech router. So right click on it properties and then go to TCP v4 and set the IP address to 192.168.88.2 alright so let's just do that 192 192.168.88. okay something wrong 88.2 So 88.1 will be the gateway for the router. Right, so we origin, hit OK, and then OK. So after we have downloaded our file, we will have this net instance applications and we will need to extract it to start the next instance application right here. Right, so now we need to click on the net put in buttons and then set the IP address to 192.168.88.3 like this and hit OK. And now we need to connect the MicroTik router to your computers with the Ethernet 1. And in order to go to the Ether boot, what you need to do is to press and hold the reset buttons while powering on the device until we see the device show up on this MicroTik net install tool. All right, so let's do this together. In order to make sure the device will probably detect it, I will disable all the Ethernet connection. So that's only this Ethernet adapter is active, right? Just do it together. Right, so here is the router board and the cable from the PC is connected to Ethernet number one right here. And then I'm going to press and hold this reset buttons while powering on the device, right? Keep holding until we see the device show up on the net Inson application. We can see that the RB750GR3 has been detected in Ether boot. And what we need to do is to change the firmware location. So as you can see, uh, this is my location right now. And I have uh, 
this is the ARM and this is the architecture for the 750 GR3 so make sure you select the correct one click the browse buttons and then go to the location we can see that the net intone applications already text the architectures of the CPU and it selects only the MMIPS instead of the ARM as we can see right here so let's go back to the guy and after that what we need to do is to click the install button and after the process is finished we click the reboot button alright so let's do that together then now we need to make sure the device is selected and the firmware is tick and hit install and we can see that the status is installing uh, the status is ready but I cannot see any like done or something so I'm going to check with Winbox refresh alright so unfortunately the device is not showing up let's give a try hit install for matching hard right okay that's good let's wait for it Alright, we can see that the router OS is being transferred to the routers and the installation should be starting shortly. Alright, so we can see that the status is now done and the device is automatically restarted. That is good. The status is OK. So the device should be showing up shortly in wing box. Alright, beep beep. We can see that it is up and running and let's try to connect to it. So the default login will be admin and they know password. So click connect button and this is Mikrotik router ball 750 GR3. They know password. So I will set a new password for it. Channel settings, zoom in and go to systems and then resources. So this is hex 750 GR3s and we can verify the device MAC address it is the same with OpenWRT so let's go to systems and then license and we can see that the license is still the same it's still level 4 and there are no losses in the function so yeah so network interfaces we have all the interface up and running and right so you can do a quick set to configure the device right so just turn it on and hit apply and hit ok and we can see that there should be some firewall apply to ip firewall right so they will know that yep we have this net right so we can see that everything is good let me try to connect the router to the one cable and let's see if it is up and running so now I'm going to go back to the network interfaces and change the TCP IPv4 to DHCP and hit OK. Alright. Alright. So we should be ready now. Let's connect to it. This will be admin and the new password. Okay. Something is wrong right here. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't receive the IPv4 address 
and let's see from here if the router ball is up and running so it looks like I have yet to enable the SCP servers on the LAN bridge so I will need to connect back to Ethernet 1 and have a check so in the quick settings okay so we have yet to take on the GSCP server so we need to set it right here so 192.168.88. start from 2 and ns 192.168.88.254 no, I want to reset some so start from 5 and then at 250 and size and then okay so make sure everything is running correctly i will check the bridge as well so bridge one part two three four and five yes it is correct and ip gscp server it running in bridge one yep all good so right now we can remove the device from the ether one part and connect to ether two Right, so we will disconnect it from Winbox and we should receive the news IP address shortly. Right, it is connected. 192.168.88.520. So we are connected at 192.168.88.250. And right, so right here, double click and click connect and yes we are all good but we have no internet connection so let's go and create one right so ethernet once in my one port i'm going to add a new vlan so this will be vlan find ether one and id is 35 and ether once you have okay and then uh, PPoE connections. Alright, so PPoE client generals and the interface will be VLAN 35. So we need to input my username and passwords. Right, so click apply and then OK. And the connection should be up and running shortly. Let's check it. We can see that the PPoE connection is successful and all the traffic is now working right so let's go and try to ping google.com oh cannot find so let's go to ip dns and make sure we input a server 1.1.1.1 and then a.a.a.a .a 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 and okay all right so now we should have a working internet connection and let's run a quick speed test Alright, so we can see that the connection is up and running But I cannot ping google.com Let me see ping 1.1.1 Cannot ping So let's go to IP and then firewall And see if we have set up everything correctly Want Right, so I think we better change it to our interface like people once apply okay and yep let's check it all right good so we should have a working internet connection right now let's go right so we are running at 200 actually 300 mbps right now with the magnetic router board so far we have revert to router os from openwrt with the next intern tunes from make your takes and i hope this video will be useful for you if you want to considering trying out openwrt if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section thanks for watching and see ya